Today I just wanted to record this quick video to go through some of the apps that I use on Windows. They're more like little utilities. I use both um, a Mac and Windows, uh, Mac during the day for my, for my job. And there's quite a few little apps on Mac that I really like that I've struggled to find on Windows. Um, having hunted around for quite a while, I finally found some that I really like. So I just thought I'd record a video just to, you know, just in case it'd help anyone else out there use it because they're fairly common things to want to do. Um, now, if you've never used a Mac, taking screenshots on a on a Mac is incredibly easy. You can there's a few things you can do, but one of the things you you one of the keyboard shortcuts is Command Shift Four, and when you do that, it gives you like uh, the ability to just draw a window around your screen and take screenshots, and they just appear on your desktop or you can put them other places and still with windows 10 you still can't do that you know i mean i know it's got like the snipping tool and i know you can print screen by pressing a key but it's just it's just a faff um but the share x is a really nice application it's it's free um i mean to be honest it does more than what i've ever i, I ain't even explored half of what it does to be honest but one of the things that i love about it is that you can set up that shit same keyboard shortcut so if i i'm, I'm pressing now shift alt 4 and it, see how I'm getting this ability to drag a, a sort of window around my screen. And that's just taking a screenshot of that area of my screen. It does other things as well. You can get it to like do windows, like active windows, your full screen, obviously. It's really handy. I mean, it does a million other things as well, but that's really what I use it for. So that's the first one called ShareX. And it's available there. I mean, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, GetShareX.com. The next one, um, I mean... A lot of people, I mean, I deal with a lot of um, images, and a lot of times these need to be renamed. Um, and going through them one by one is just a complete pain. And on the, on the Mac, I use a, a, a program called a Better Finder, a Better Finder Rename. Um, and this is also available for Windows, a Better File Rename. Um, and it's basically the same app as it is on Mac, and it works really, really well. I mean, it can be fairly simple, but it can get quite complicated. You can just set, you can set up like different things that you want to change. You know, like you can just add text to the beginning, or completely reformat a file name, or do sequences of file names. I mean, you can add thing these together as well. You know, so you can like remove part from a file name, then add another part to it. It's really, really good. I'd highly recommend it. Um, I think it's about twenty dollars, um, but it's an absolute lifesaver if you're doing a lot of um, renaming of files. Um, so that's the uh, better file name I'll, again i'll put all the um the links to all these apps in the in the video description the next one is an absolute godsend for me and i, c I can't tell you how much time this saves now on the mac there's a there's an application called default folder and it's an absolute lifesaver i mean this there's nothing like default folder actually for windows well nothing that i've found but and this ain't quite this well it's not the same at all but it does the same sort of thing Default folder lets you just sort of jump basically to different folders um, at the click of a button rather than having to sort of navigate through, you know, the tree of folders. Um, and direct folders doesn't do quite the same thing as default folder, but it still lets you get straight to the folders. And I, it's just so useful, I find this. It's basically just like a little utility that runs in your system tray. And if I press my middle mouse button now, the little wheel on your mouse, I get this window. And that'll let me jump to any folders that I've pre-set up. You know, so I can jump, jump straight to my Dropbox. I can jump straight to my projects. You can create as many of these as you want as well. It's just incredibly handy. And if I press down Shift, it creates, lets you create like little modifier keys. So instead of going straight to projects, I'll go within a folder within projects that I've pre-set up. So now I'll go straight within like one of my clients' uh, folders. It's just really, really useful. And if you go down to configure, you can obviously set up which folders you want it to point to and stuff. And you can assign icons and stuff like that. It's really, 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 really handy, I find. I mean, you can get it to actually launch applications as well, but I mean, I don't use that part of it. But if ever, if ever, if ever I'm using a machine now that doesn't have default folder or uh, direct folders, I just find it so annoying to have, you know, having to sort of traverse through. You, know, you have to open Explorer, then go traverse. I mean, Explorer is pretty good, to be fair, but it still doesn't beat having direct folders. Um, it, again, they do a free version and then a, a pro version. I, I mean, the pro doesn't actually add that much, I don't personally think. I, I have bought it because I just think it's worth... I wanted to just give some money back to them because I just find it so handy. Um, so moving on, the next one is called Phrase Express. Now, on the Mac, I use an app called Text Expander. And to be fair, Text Expander is probably a bit better than Phrase Express. Not that Phrase Express doesn't have the features, because it does, but um, it's just a little bit sort of clunkier. It doesn't work quite as well as it does on a Mac, and the, the, the UI is not quite as nice, but I mean, that's true of a lot of Windows applications. 
but it's still incredibly useful if Furs Express. Again, it's just an app that runs in your system tray, and it basically just expands like abbreviations into um, into full sentences or paragraphs. Um, so if I do like uh, comma HR, oh sorry, if I do PFA and then press space bar, you get please find attached. I mean that's probably quite an example. I mean a bad example because I mean I, I use like a lot of filler text. So if I do comma comma lorem i get like lorem ipsum text which i use quite a lot in like if i'm doing some design work and stuff just to, if i haven't got any real text but you can use it for everything i you can even get it to sort of uh, prompt you to sort of insert things you know so i can i use it to when i'm sending out my invoices and stuff so you can basically just put you know you can set it up so it prompts you for like a name and an amount and it'll pretty much do the email for you if that makes sense you know i don't know if i explained that, that well really then but you know you can do a uh, comma invoice here and then it'll just prompt you for like the name so you could say john an amount 90 pounds and it'll fill in the blanks for you so it's not just you know well it, it isn't just like replacing sentences but even just as that it's, it's incredibly useful i mean you can use it as well i mean i use it for html code and css and stuff i mean you could there is other things to do that but i still find it easy to to do it to do it with uh, phrase express like I say, it's not quite as good as Text Expander, but it, it is still pretty good. So that's Phrase Express. Again, I find that really, really useful. And it, again, it's one of those apps that if I'm not running, then it just annoys me. Now, this is a, a new app to me um, called Glasswire. Um, it's just like a network utility and a firewall. So it lets you monitor your sort of network traffic, and you know you can close that traffic down if you don't want to, if you don't want it to be going to you know if you don't want to, your apps to be calling home and stuff um this is one app actually that does look really nice it looks more like a mac app than it does a windows app but it's it's a really nice little utility it's quite interesting actually to see how many times your pc is calling different different uh, services you know within like three minutes it'll be calling diff 20 different things you know if you've got i mean i've got creative cloud so it'll be calling adobe and oh it's just ridiculous how many things it, it uses you know the the services that your PC is connecting to on the internet that you don't know about is just is quite incredible, really. So this is it, um, and like I say, it's got like a part a firewall to it as well, so you can block services. I mean, that just gives you an example there. You know, that's only over like an hour. You know, you've got Steam, even Explorers calling home. You know, it's just ridiculous. Dropbox, can't. I mean, some of these obviously you know about, but some you probably don't. So it's not just out of interest. You know, you can block these down as well if you don't want them to be. If you don't want it to be happening like that. So that's Glasswire. That's probably not quite as useful as some of the other ones, but you might find it of some use in it as well. Now, one app that I've really struggled to find, a, I mean, there's loads of um, apps that record your screen. Um, but on the Mac, there's just one or two really, really good ones, and I was struggling to find one for Windows that worked quite as well. Um, I went through a few different ones. I actually bought a couple um, from, and um, one or two of them were really, really poor. You know, they'd sort of crash during recordings and or someone recording my audio, um, but I eventually came across this Mirillis Action. Um, I've not used it for that long, but the bit I have used it, I've been quite happy with it. Um, I think you can record it while it's in use, but I couldn't figure out how to do that, so that's basically what it looks like. Um, it's a really ni nice looking application, again, you can do like live recordings and streams with it. Um, it's got an like, endless amount of settings, it's, it's really good I think so far. Um, I have tried a few. I tried that open broadcast, um, which is, is, I know a lot of people like that, but it didn't quite, it probably more than what I really needed, really. Um, like I say, and I did buy a couple of other ones, but I wasn't really impressed with them either. So, so far, Marilis Action seems pretty decent. So, I will put all the links to all these apps in the, in the video description. And if there's any others that you can recommend um, that are better than what I've suggested or, you know, are different, then please please do comment because I'd love to hear them because I do take some finding some of these decent ones because like, like I've said uh, there's just so many cheap sort of nasty apps on Windows I personally think so anyway I hope any of those apps have, have some use to people okay cheers guys thanks a lot